somebody here has plenty of positive words right. uh, to, to say with for us here today. It's been a while since we've had one of our favorite guests on the show, but she's here to tell us about a delicious recipe. Joining us now is Helena Handbasket. Hello, you two beautiful people. It's so good to see you all. It's good to see you. I'm so, and it's good to be seen. I hope I look okay. Did I do okay? You, you, did, fantastic. Look, you did amazing. Got my hair did just for y'all. Oh, it did. looks amazing. So we're going to do a little bit of um, lemon lavender shortbread. Nothing says springtime like lemon lavender shortbread. That sounds that. delicious. So you want me to jump right in? Yeah, yeah absolutely. Right they told me I've got three to five minutes to do this, so I'm just like, well, honey, I can talk fast, but Lord help me. Okay, so what you're going to do, you're going to start off and you're going to use a cup of butter, which is two sticks of butter, for those of you that don't know, and you're going to unwrap those and put those in. Now, I don't have time for all that, but, um, but we're going to put two sticks of butter in, and then, which is one cup, and then we're going to put a half a cup of sugar. Um, we'll just add that in right there and then we're going to pretend that we're measuring these out in this these lovely little um Ooh, those are aren't very, those the prettiest oh things my ever gosh, they're, fancy. they're fancy well i'm kind of a fancy kind of girl uh, i figure so um so you're going to use a teaspoon of lemon extract and you're going to use a teaspoon of lavender extract and put that all in with your butter and your sugar. Then you're gonna take this old mixer that my mommy gave me 100 years ago, and you're gonna mix and mix and mix, and that butter and sugar's gotta get really nice and fluffy. If it's not fluffy, you haven't mixed it enough. Now, I use my KitchenAid mixer because I don't have time for all that. I just throw it in the bowl and let it do its thing. So anyway, once that's fluffy, Okay, we're almost done. So then we're gonna take two cups of flour, all purpose flour, honey, cause you don't want them to rise. You want a nice little crunchy biscuit thing. Ooh. Okay, so you're gonna take two biscuits, of, two biscuits, <laughs> two, cups, <laughs> two cups of all purpose flour and you're gonna slowly add that and in the interest of time, we'll just put that in there. Now, you're gonna mix that in and it's gonna make a dough. Okay. 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 We all like a little dough. <laughs> yes, <laughs> so we do. once you've got that mixed, I'll push that out of my way. You're going to take that dough and you're going to roll it out into like a log. Now, you know what I mean. It's supposed to look like a rolling pin. A rolling pin. Yes. Yeah. So um, if you youngins don't know what a rolling pin is, ask your daddy. I'm sure he's been hit with one. So, um, <laughs> so anyway, you roll it out. If you don't know what a rolling pin is, it should look like a log of cookie dough that you'd buy at the grocery store, but these are homemade, so they're much better. And then you're going to take that and you're going to slice or actually you're going to chill that in the refrigerator for at least 30 minutes they will stay in the refrigerator up to um, two or three weeks just like okay. that then you're going to slice them a fourth to a third of an inch thick and you're going to put them in the oven at 350 degrees for 18 to 20 minutes you want them to get slightly golden brown around the edges. I love everything with the suntan. So I think these <laughs> cookies, if they have a little bit of a suntan, but not a sunburn, you wanna make sure you don't burn your cookies. So um, yeah, and that's it. And then you take them out. I like them better after they've chilled, but I baked these just for y'all. Now, here, I want you to grab one. Come on, right off the, sh there you go. Oh, it's Put hot. Honey, oh, hot. Oh, 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 hot. Oh, hot. Put that in your mouth and tell me it ain't the sweetest thing you've chewed on today. Oh, God. Oh, this is really that, good. That's good. See? Would I lie to you? No, no you better lie to me. No. no, no. And by the way, I am so proud of y'all. Y'all started off the whole show with Aval, uh, with uh, the Kentucky Gives thing. Mm -hmm. You know, I work for Aval Kentucky, and we're right. doing that today, too. So, avalgives.org, honey, and you can make a donation to us, and we would love that very much. Do you like my cookies, really? No, no they're I, really good. I'm I about to like eat a cookies. couple more. Now, if people want to find Helena, I know you do bingo, uh, drag brunches. Where can they find you? Drag? What's drag? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just serious. Um, so, yeah, I'm all over the place, honey. They, I'm just like a bad penny. I keep showing up over and over again. Um, so you can come to, well, actually, May 15th, we've got a brunch at Eppings. Y'all can't come to that. It's sold, sold out. out. But that night at 630, we've got something called Glitz and Hits. There's another word in there, but we can't say it on morning television. Glitz and hits um, at 6.30 at Sound Bar. <laughs> I've choked him up. God bless your heart. You know what I'm saying. I know you do. Mm -hmm. um, rhymes with sounds like. And then um, and, and on May 24th, Tuesday, May 24th at 8 o'clock, also at Sound Bar, I'm going to be calling bingo. Yes, I'm going to be pulling those numbered balls right up out of there, and I'm going to call those numbers. And, and we've got really tacky, precious little prizes, and it's $5 to get in but we have more fun than, than a white boy in a dress ever should. So. <laughs> <laughs> well,
thank you so much, Mama. These are good. These are good. Do you really like them? Oh yeah. No, I really do. This is my third one. I've had two. She said three. Am I right? Do they melt in your mouth? Yes, they do. See, see. Y'all need to try my recipe, honey, and just remember. This big old girl, Helena Handbasket, taught you how to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> I mean,